So let's go ahead and start today in a position that allows you to feel a deep connection to the earth beneath you. You can either sit, lay down on your back, find child's pose, or stand up. It doesn't matter. Whatever shape your body has to make to become aware of the support below, go for it. Just right on top of your yoga mat. What's important in this moment is that you start in a neutral place. Right here, you get to decide by feeling what your body needs to feel safe and supported so you can start to align all the different aspects of you. Begin with a willingness to be fully present. In whatever pose you've chosen today, closing your eyes if it helps, start to bring all the pieces that make up who you are right here on your mat. Your body, your mind, emotions, and most importantly, your breath. Gathering only the true essence of who you really are. So maybe release any expectations, judgments, or thoughts of comparison you may have on whatever else is keeping you from finding that now moment. Tapping into this field of presence and trusting yourself in this sacred space. Do you recognize that stillness and effortless strength coming from the ground you're resting on? Absorb this subtle energy and feel it elevate up along your spine, encouraging length and stability. You have the freedom to modify or to shift yourself to allow this constant lift to happen comfortably, but continue turning your attention inward. And with just the simple observation of your own breath flowing gently in and out of your body, eventually you arrive into this knowing that everything you need, you already have. Everything you need, you already have. It's from embracing this knowledge comes your power. And if you listen closely, your breath becomes that constant reminder to your consciousness of that often forgotten potential buried deep within. You have before you an opportunity for renewal and this possibility for greatness that is not just within reach, but actually already a part of you. I encourage you to carry this knowing and allow it to support your practice today. And before you even notice it, with almost no effort at all, the process of healing and transformation you've been looking for has already begun. So wherever you are, in the easiest way you know how, come to standing at the center of your mat. On your way there, let me remind you, one of the most important aspects of yoga is this moment, right here. Remember that yoga is essentially a physical practice of moving in a way that nurtures and heals you. Be mindful by listening to your instincts, this inner wisdom we all have. Learn to trust yourself and be confident enough to believe when things feel right or wrong. Remember, you're in complete control. Keep this in mind as we flow. Beginning with movements to mobilize the spine and wake up our balancing muscles, take a deep breath in as you extend your arms above your head. Exhale, arms float out to the side and relax down. Inhale, arms reach up, finding more length. Exhale, hands together, draw them to your center. With a soft focus, gaze forward, inhale your arms up. Exhale, gently twist your upper body to the right, left arm forward, right arm extended back. Lift your right knee straight to the front, foot flex for this twisting balanced posture. Inhale, your arms overhead as you face the front. Hands on the hips, come back to standing. Lean into a forward bend, hinging at the hips. Back of the knee soft, toes relax, and exhale to release your hands to the mat. Forward fold. Bring your hands to the hips, bend your knees gently as you inhale. Exhale, squeeze your inner thighs and extend the legs strong. Inhale, re-bend the knees as you extend the spine. Exhale, straighten your legs and release into a forward fold. Soften the knees again, lift your head, inhale. Exhale, lift the hips and lengthen your legs strong as you fold. Deep bend in the knees as you sit your hips back. Stay here and then use an exhale to extend your arms forward to the front. Palms face each other. Lift your toes off the mat to bring your weight to the heels as you press the hips back. Stabilize the legs as you sweep your arms wide and clasp your hands behind your back. Exhale, hips lift as you fold over your legs, head pointing down to the earth. Inhale, slowly roll yourself up to standing, following through as you reach your arms overhead. Exhale, the palms together to your center. Inhale to reach your arms up. 
Exhale, open to your left side. Inhale your left knee up to the hip level, finding your center. Feel the twist as your spine spirals up from the tailbone to the base of your neck. Using an inhale to the front, arms overhead. Bring your hands to the hips as you bring both feet to the mat. Exhale yourself into a deep forward fold. Back of the knee soft. Inhale, bend the knees directly over the toes into a squat. Exhale, legs straighten. Rebend your knees and spread your toes wider. Exhale, extend your legs long, squeezing the quadriceps. Inhale yourself into a squat, encouraging the hips to lean back into a seated position. Exhale, press your heels down and strain the legs. Bend your knees once again. Bring your thighs as close to parallel to your mat as best you can. Stabilize here and guide your arms out and overhead, thumbs up. Feel yourself pulling energy up from the earth into your legs. Reach your arms behind you, hands clasped together, and lift your hands overhead off your low back. Exhale. Release into a deep forward fold and lift your hands overhead as you squeeze your legs strong. Feel the weight of your head as it lengthens your spine. Release the hands to the mat. Inhale to find length as you lift the chest. Exhale into a deep forward fold. Maybe hugging your ankles to deepen the bend. Release your fingertips to the ground and gently guide yourself onto your hands and knees. Pressing your hips back. Extend your arms as you sit back into child's pose, resting your forehead on the mat. Remember, this is where you go when you need to come home to find your center and your breath. And when you're ready, lift up to all fours or table pose. Shoulders above the wrists. Flex your heels off the mat and lower your chest to hover over your mat. Exhale, push back up. Try it a few more times, making sure to keep your back straight. Elbows close to the ribs when you lower down, exhaling when you press back up. After four modified push-ups here, extend your arms as you sit back into child's pose. Finding baby cobra, slide your chest forward between your hands, belly stays on the ground as you engage your back muscles to lift the shoulders and head up. Release down and flow yourself back into child's pose, curling your toes on the way there and inhale up into your first downward facing dog. Arms lengthening, heels pressing down. Do your best to move authentically and make this practice your own. Move the way you move when you don't care who's watching. Inhale, left foot up, three-legged dog. Create a long, strong line of energy between your fingertips up to your left toes. Exhale, the leg back down. Inhale, your right leg up behind you, three-legged dog. Allow your torso to get really long as you reach the right leg high. Exhale, both feet down to the mat. Re-extend the left leg up again. Keep the leg lifted as you exhale into a three-legged plank. Inhale, back up to three-legged dog. Right heel reaching down to the earth. Release the left foot down. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, forward three-legged plank. Inhale, reach the right foot up really high, three-legged dog. On your next exhale, step the right foot forward in between your hands. Lower the left knee to the mat, pointing the foot behind you. Lift the torso up. Inhale the arms high for a low lunge, feeling your hips get heavier as they lower closer to the earth. Bring your hands to prayer position. Exhale the left elbow to the outer right thigh, prayer twisting low lunge. Allow your hips to sink closer to the mat as you work a deeper twist. Long spine here. Looking down before you release the twist, hands to the mat, left hand stays down inside the right foot, exhale your right hand high, open through the chest and throat and continue staying fluid with your breath. Tucking the toes of your left foot, lift the back knee off the mat, left heel presses back to find a steady foundation. Look down, release the twist, hands to the mat and step your left foot forward next to the right, come to a forward fold. Inner thighs squeeze together. Inhale, roll up to standing as you reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands relax down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, completely through your nose as you dive forward, hinging from the hips over to the mat. Hands come down, step your right foot back, right knee comes down, low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, let your hips move forward towards the front heel. Relaxing your shoulders. 
Hands come to prayer, right elbow over the left thigh. Pointing the upper elbow up, keep the neck long. Breath should be easy, feeling the chest expand. Deepen the twist by looking over your left shoulder. Release the hands down next to the left foot, then using an exhale, left arm reaches up. Right hand stays down. Top of your head, reaching to the front, hips pressing forward. Now bring the weight to your left heel and pick up the right knee off the ground. Deepen the twist using an exhale breath. Look down and release the hands to the mat. Step both feet back into downward facing dog. Feel the stretch of your low back opening and let your hamstrings get long. Inhale to plank. Bring your knees to the mat and lift your heels closer to your glutes. Perform four modified push-ups here. Each time, elbows hug tight close to your ribs. Palms open flat to the earth. Finish by pressing your hips back. Extend the arms in child's pose. Inhale as you slide your chest towards the top of your mat. Lift yourself up to cobra pose. Feel your front torso opening as your heart lifts. Shoulders back and down. Inhale. Exhale, gently bring yourself back to child's pose. Gently stretching and bringing comfort to your hips, thighs, and low back. Tucking your toes, lift your hips up, pressing back into downward facing dog. Learn to develop the skill of controlling the flow of your breath. There's a tremendous power in being able to respond to challenges in your practice using your breath to influence the nervous system. Your breath will provide you feedback so you can respond mindfully instead of simply reacting. Inhale to lift your right leg really high, three-legged dog. Open the hip, belly button points to the right. Inhale, square the hips to the mat. On your exhale, lower the right foot down. Inhale, switch, lift the left foot up. Exhale to open the hip to the side, keep lifting. Inhale, close the hip and float the left foot back to your mat. Three-legged dog, right leg back up, belly button points to the right. Inhale, square the hips to the mat, come into plank, hug the right knee towards your forehead, using your core to draw everything in as you exhale. Inhale, back to three-legged dog, right leg high. Then easily float it back down to the mat. Inhale, left foot up, twist open, Exhale, close the hip and shift your weight forward, three-legged plank as you draw the knee in through the midline. Feel your spine rounding as you hug the knee in. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. On your next exhale, step the left foot forward between your hands, right knee to the mat, low lunge, arms extend up to the sky. Shoulders above the hips, keep your spine long. Exhale, twist yourself to the left, arms open wide across the chest. Circle the arms to face the other side, right arm circles up and back, left elbow to the front knee, press your hip forward as you reach the right arm back. Curl the toes behind you and extend the right leg long, placing your legs in a warrior stance. Inhale as you bring your right arm overhead into a modified side angle pose. Stabilize the whole bottom of the right foot down and reach with your right fingertips to the front. Inhale into warrior two. Shoulders above the hips, keep your spine long and your legs engaged. Eyes looking past your left fingertips, sink and tuck the tailbone under. Look down and windmill your right hand to the mat and inside of your left foot as you extend your left hand up to the sky. Modify by resting the back knee down if you need to. Make sure the right heel is off the mat for a twisting high lunge. Looking down, release both hands to the mat, keep the front knee bent and float the torso and arms up to high lunge. You're not here for very long, so when you find your balance, stay there and breathe and hang in the deepest place you can find. And release your hands to the mat. Step the right foot forward to meet the left. Exhale into a forward fold. Roll up to standing. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, hands to the heart. Reconnect to your center. Arms lift above your head. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Let the upper body melt down towards the mat. Seated chair. Sit the hips back, lift the chest and arms up. Reaching long through the fingertips, draw your shoulder blades down towards your tailbone. A soft lift of the inner belly to support the front of your spine. 
Exhale, release yourself into a fold. Hands to the mat, gently take a big step back with the left foot and rest your knee to the mat. Find low lunge as you inhale to lift the torso high. Exhaling, let your hips move forward towards the front heel. Turn your torso to open up to your right side, arms reaching away from each other front and back. Exhaling to deepen the twist, shoulders above the hips, keep your spine long and with a tall spine, rotate the left arm up and over and windmill to face the other side. Right elbow to the right thigh or knee, left arm reaching behind you. Lean into the right heel, curl your toes behind you and extend the left leg long. Outer edge of the left foot to the mat here in side angle pose as you reach the left arm to the front. Inhale yourself up into warrior two. Exhale, sink the hips deeper, gazing past your right fingertips. Circle your left hand to the mat and inside your right foot as you reach your right arm to the sky. Back heel off the mat. Modify by resting the back knee down. Inner thighs active, core muscles engaged. Consider taking your gaze up at your right hand. Look down before your hands make it to the earth, spurring the shoulders and hips to the mat. Strong, stable legs here. Use an inhale to come up to high lunge. Soften the back knee if you feel any strain in the low back. Breathing steady as you intensify the heat from the big muscles of the legs and glutes. Exhale, hands reach for the mat. Sweep the right leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank, knees relax down, heels up. Four modified push-ups here, making sure core is fully engaged but the breath flowing. Do it in a way that energizes you so go only as deep as your spine can stay long. Last one, extend your arms as you sit back into child's pose. Inhale and slide through the cobra, maybe coming up a little bit higher. Feel your front torso opening as your heart lifts. Shoulders back and down. Exhale back to child's pose. Feel the length of the thighs, torso and arms sinking yourself deeper into the mat. So it's good to check in with yourself here to see what state of mind you may have drifted into. Instead of just going into the poses and making shapes, use yoga as a process to feel your body. There's so much to discover about yourself in the moment, so take the inward journey. Initiate with your breath and inhale up to table pose. Make sure knees are directly under your hips and your hands under your shoulders. Inhale the right leg back behind you, no higher than the hips. Left arm reaches forward. I call this bird dog pose. Using the strength of your core to keep the torso steady, exhale the left elbow and right knee together. Think about a supple spine. Inhale, re-extend forward and back. Exhale, your left elbow to the left, your right knee out to the right. Inhale, the bird dog, reaching front and back. Exhale, curl back into the midline, rounding the spine. Inhale, reach forward and back. Left elbow, right knee. Inhale, the bird dog, reaching front and back. Take it out to the side, left elbow out to the left, right knee to the right. Stabilize your torso here and try and extend the left arm long. Right foot reaches away to the other side too. Inhale, reach long, front and back, finding your midline. Then bend the right knee and reach the left arm back to clasp the ankle. Exhale as you kick the right foot back up and away from the hips, allowing your left shoulders to open. Lift your inner belly to help keep your balance. Gently release back to bird dog, reaching front and back and gently relax your hands to the mat. Keep your right leg long as you place the inside of your right foot on the ground, right arm to the sky. Expanding the chest here for a modified side plank. Stay here or progress by stabilizing the whole bottom of the right foot down. Keep your hips lifted and extend the left lower leg through in front of you off your mat. Challenge yourself further by maybe lifting the left foot off the ground. Continue pressing your hips away from the earth. Engage your strong core muscles as you breathe. 
maybe taking your gaze up to the right hand to release keep the torso lifted and reach both hands to the mat keep the left foot off the ground if it's elevated and sweep it up into three-legged dog arms are long breathe deeply into your belly Easily guide the left foot back down and switch right leg lifts for three-legged dog on the other side. Exhale and step forward. Lower the left knee to the mat, pointing the foot behind you. Inhale the arms high for a low lunge, feeling your hips get heavier as they lower closer to the earth. Exhale, twist to the right, arms open out. Keeping the upper body twist, tuck your left toes under and as you inhale, float the left knee off the ground. Find your balance here. Check to make sure your shoulders are right above the hips. So maybe even leaning back a little to even the weight between both feet. Maintain that tall spine. Face the other direction by windmilling your left arm up and back into warrior two. Left heel comes down. Exhale back to reverse warrior. Make sure to fully extend the back leg and continue lifting out of the low back. Create space between the ribs of the right side as you bend the front knee forward. Inhale back to warrior two. Modified side angle, exhale the right elbow to the right thigh. Bring more sensation to the right inner thigh and hip by reaching the right fingertips to the mat. Feel an outward spiral with the left thigh and open the chest up to the sky. Use your core to inhale up into warrior two. Face the front and create high lunge, keeping that front knee bent. Bring your hands to the hips and lean your chest to rest on the front thigh. With a flat back, continue placing more weight on the front foot as you extend and balance on the right leg for a variation of warrior three with hands on your hips. Now bend the standing leg to lower yourself closer to the mat by softening the right knee. Keep your balance as you bring the left knee in beside the right. Inhale, re-extend. And as light as you can, softly step the left foot back and inhale yourself up to high lunge. Lower the left knee without touching the mat. Exhale, both legs come to standing long. Exhale yourself into a deeper high lunge, bending just the front knee. Now bring your hands to your hips. Exhale as you bow your chest forward to meet the right thigh. Lifting up into warrior three once again. Maintain the length as you bend just the right knee. Stay light and draw your left knee in to touch the right. Inhale if you reach the left leg back. One more time, exhale, both knees touch side by side. Inhale, re-extend. Stepping the left foot down, back up to high lunge. With control, lower the left knee to hover just above your mat. Exhale, both legs come to standing long. Inhale, lower down and hover the knee one more time. Exhale, back up, creating high lunge by bending just the front knee. Bringing your hands to prayer in front, and exhale, twist to the right, coming into prayer twisting high lunge. Brace your left elbow outside the right knee or thigh. For an added challenge, open your arms wide, left hand to the mat outside your right foot, right hand to the sky. Keep the core engaged, but let the breath flow as you find your stability during this twist. Bring your palms together at your heart, Keeping the twist, now step the left foot forward to the front next to your right. Deep breath here as you sit deeper in this prayer twisting seated chair. Check to make sure your knees remain side by side as the left knee likes to creep forward. Release the twist by looking down first, fingertips to the earth, knees stay bent for seated chair. Inner thighs and a strong core work together as you reach your arms above. Use a big inhalation to stand tall, finding a small back bend as you open the throat to look up. Exhale to bring yourself back to a neutral spine, hands back to center. Inhale, your arms overhead, this time hands clasped behind. Exhale, forward fold. Your fists press up and away from your low back to open the chest and shoulders wide. Let the natural weight of your torso deepen the fold. You can squeeze your shoulder blades together to feel a more opening in the front of the shoulders. Release your hands down to the mat and as light and effortless as you can, step or jump your feet back to downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower your shoulders to elbow height, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Roll your shoulders open, neck extends long. 
Exhale, unflip your hips high to downward facing dog. Arms lengthening, heels pressing down. Inhale your shoulders forward and rest your knees to the mat. Coming into table pose, palms open wide underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips, using your core to stabilize the torso. From here, reach your left leg back and extend your right arm forward. Without shifting or rotating the hips and shoulders, use your abdominals as you exhale the right elbow and left knee to touch. Inhale as you reach them away. This time, bend the left knee and right elbow out to the side, creating a 90 degree angle with the bent arm and knee. Inhale as you reach them away. Exhale your right elbow and left knee together, then inhale them away. Exhale, curl back into the midline, rounding the spine. Inhale, re-extend forward and back. Bend the left knee and right elbow out to the side, creating a 90 degree angle with the bent arm and knee. Maybe challenge yourself further by extending the left leg and right arm out to the side, off your mat. From here, inhale, re-extend forward and back, finding your longest extension here. Bend the left knee and reach back with your right hand to clasp the foot or ankle. Exhale, extend the leg as you press and kick the head back. Feel the opening across the front of the right shoulder and left thigh and hip flexor. Continue lifting the foot up and away from the low back as you open up. Gently release the foot and find bird dog one last time to realign the spine, connecting to your center, then gently placing your right hand back to the mat. Open your hip out to face the left side and place your whole left foot flat on the ground beneath you. Left arm reaches to the sky in a modified side plank. You can stay here working on pressing the hips and lengthening the left side of the body long, maybe looking up at the sky, or try a progression. Extend the right leg off the mat in front of you. Your legs and right arm work together to press the hips away from the mat. Advanced practitioners really activate the inner thighs and play with floating the right leg off the ground. Outer pinky side edge of the left foot grounded strong to the earth, right hand pressing the hips up as you reach the left arm high. Finding a three-legged down dog, look down first, left hand finds the mat, sweep the right leg under and back up behind you, three-legged dog. Take a deep breath and bring strength into the extension of your legs and arms all the way to the toes and fingertips. Find your breath and switch legs, right leg down, left foot floats up. Exhale, place the foot in between your hands, low lunge, right knee to the mat, arms extend up above your head. Take a deep breath here as you sink the hips to the mat. On your next exhale, twist to the left, right arm forward, left arm back. Keep the twist and extension of the torso. Go for an opening in the chest with the relaxed shoulders as you bend the front knee deeper. Tuck the right toes under and lift the back knee off the earth as you lengthen the back right leg stronger. Keep the back knee soft if you feel any discomfort in the low back and ease off on your twist. Exhaling, use a big circle with the right arm up and behind you to face the other side, warrior two. Right heel meets the mat. Your legs come into a strong warrior stance. Exhale into reverse warrior, taking the right hand down to a long straight back leg as your left arm reaches up and back. Deepen the left knee bend as you reach the left fingertips away. Feel the expansion of the left torso and waist as you side bend. Inhale back into warrior two, sinking the hips and tucking the tailbone under. Modified side angle pose. Exhaling left elbow to rest on the left thigh. Right arm reaches up to the front, lengthening the right side of your body. Exhale to see if there's any space to lower the hips even deeper while reaching the right arm up. Feel more length in the inner thighs by reaching the left fingertips to the mat just inside of your left foot. Keep opening the right shoulder behind you to face the side. Outer edge of the right foot anchors down as you reach the right fingertips away. Now without unbending the left knee, inhale just the torso back up to warrior two. Spread the collarbones wide as you reach your arms across the mat. Face the front, inhale your arms up to high lunge. Exhale to find a deeper left knee bend. Square your shoulders and hips to face the front. Lower your hands to the hips and bow forward to reach the top of your head to the front. 
resting your belly on your thigh for a moment, then using an inhale to float up into warrior three by gently pushing off the back foot. Belly button should be pointing straight down to the mat to keep the hips square. Soften the left knee to bend and exhale your right knee to meet the left. Inhale, reach the right foot away and float the right leg back. Lightly step the back foot down behind you, high lunge, arms reach up. Inflate your lungs as you take a deep breath in and lower the right knee to hover above the mat. Exhale to straighten both legs, bending just the front knee, high lunge position. Bring your hands to the hips. Exhale your belly to the front thigh while keeping the length in the spine. Use the back foot to push off lightly, floating up into warrior three. Bend just the standing leg and lower down. Stabilize the hips and exhale to draw the right knee in. Inhale, lengthen away. Keep the standing leg bent. Exhale, draw the right knee towards your navel. Inhale, reach it back long. And as soft as you can, step the right foot back down. High lunge as you lift the torso and arms overhead. Inhale, your right knee lowers straight down to hover, leaning the shoulders back above the hips. Exhale, lift back up tall. Inhale, lower even deeper down, tucking the tailbone under to undo any arching in the low back. Exhale, back up. Coming into a high lunge, bending just the front knee forward, right heel pressing back behind you. Lower your hands in front of you, palms together by your sternum. Big exhale to the left, prayer twisting high lunge. Placing the right elbow on the outside of your left thigh or knee. Work with your hands to find balance and open across the shoulders and upper back as you reach the right heel back. Challenge your balance as you look up over your left shoulder. An option to deepen the twist here by opening the arms. Right elbow outside the right thigh, right fingertips to the mat, left arm opens up to the sky. Now bring your hands to prayer, keeping the twist. Feel the spiral upward and find more length with your torso on the right side. Look down at your left foot and step the right foot forward, prayer twisting seated chair. Sitting towards your heels, pick up your toes to check, then place them back down. Inner thighs pressing together for support as you work the twist deeper. Reach the spine long as you inhale. Now take your gaze down, exhaling. Release the twist, fingertips to the mat. Sit deeper and inhale your arms up for a seated chair. Thighs come to parallel with the floor as best you can without arching the low back. Stay here or explore a variation by looking down for balance and coming up on your tiptoes. Maybe deepening your seat, bringing lots of sensation in the thighs and glutes. Bring your heels back to the mat and inhale yourself up into an easy standing back bend. Exhale yourselves to stand tall, hands to the heart center, using an inhale to float the arms up, exhale to dive forward. Bend your knees to place your hands on the mat and, and quietly jump or step back to downward facing dog. Use an exhale to gently press and guide your chest closer to your thighs and inhale come to plank. Exhale, lower down with control in a way that deeply connects you to your core. Elbows graze your torso. Upward dog or cobra inhale as you press up. Exhale, melt completely down onto your mat. Bend the right knee and reach back with both hands to grab your right foot. Use a towel strap around the ankle or foot for assistance. Use the strength of your right thigh to press the foot up, allowing your chest and forehead to lift off the mat. Feeling the shoulders open, Press the top of your left foot down to stabilize as you lift the right thigh and knee off the mat even higher. On your next exhale, gently release the foot down and release one ear to the mat. Finding ourselves in that soft, easy, neutral space. Then switching to the other side, reach both hands back for your left foot. Inner thighs engaged. Kick and press your hands back up and away from your hips. Breath flowing as you expand the chest and shoulders open away from the top of your mat. Look down to make sure your neck stays long and neutral, keeping both hips on your mat. Exhaling, gently release down. Rest in the other ear. Breathe deep and let go. Allow your body to naturally find its way back to balance. When you're ready, bring your hands underneath the shoulders and find child's pose. Knees wide, sitting your hips back. Relax the forehead to the ground as you lengthen your tailbone away from the pelvis. How's the quality of your breath? 